Welcome back to Drinker and Crochet. And today is an exciting day because it's all about market prep. And tomorrow is my market. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you everything that I crocheted for this market. And I'm really excited about this market because last year, this is the first market that I went to where I was like, wow, I can make money at this. And at that time, I made just over $400 and I was so excited. So this was a really good market for me last year. So I'm hoping that it'll also be a very good market. It's just a small town like festival days and the whole community comes out. And so hopefully they come out again and they come visit me. So um, let's get started with everything that I've crocheted for this, um, for this market. First thing I wanna show you is my beehive. So kind of have them lined up here, but I've got little bees. Um, the little bees I sell for $8 and I have 11 of these and I just use acrylic yarn. Typically I use the, I, uh, I love this yarn. I love that yarn, the Hobby Lobby yarn acrylic. So I've got 11 of those and then I've got five of these. These are my medium bees. Um, I make these out of the um, Parfait Chenille, no, just Chenille from Parfait. Um, you can find this at Dollar Tree. I get it off of their website. And the medium bee compared to the little bee, um, this is $15. Okay, and then from the medium bee, I go to the large bee. I have one large bee. And this is made out of the Burnap Blanket. Um, and he's $25. And then I went ahead and I made an extra large bee. And I'm super excited about this guy. Um, compared to the large bee, he's a lot bigger. Uh, he is made out of the Sweet Snuggles from Michaels. And it's the same pattern. Um, he's just got, he's got blue sparkly eyes. And, um, I'm gonna sell him for $35. And he's just so soft and squishy and I love him and I hope he sells so I can make more of him. Because if I don't sell it, I probably won't make more. So that is my beehive. And next we have um, our sea turtles. Um, he is just an acrylic sea turtle that fits in the palm of my hand. Um, he's going to be $12 made out of acrylic and I have five of these little guys. I used to sell them for 10, but they take so long to make and I just couldn't keep up with them. And so now I raise the price to 12, I'll sell one or two of them, um, but then they're more inclined to buy the bigger turtle, which is the same pattern. Um, so it takes me the same amount of time and I sell more of these. So I think it's a win-win. So this is the big sea turtle and it is made out of the Sweet Snuggles Light from Michaels. And I also have five of these. And I sell these for $25. Okay, next let's go ahead and look at the the Sea World edition, not like Sea World, but like in the sea. So I have this one stingray made out of the Sweet Snuggles Light in blue, and he is going to be $20. I only have one of him. I did have two, and if you watched the last video, you saw what happened to the other one. And then I've got two of these whales. They are 15 each. They're made out of the Bernat Velvet. I used to sell these like crazy, but now I don't know what's going on. Um, the last three markets, nobody's like, they're like, oh, whales. So I guess I, maybe whales are out. I don't know. But I do have one more in a bigger size. This is made out of the Sweet Snuggles Light. He is $20 and he's blue. And then I always sell out of these. And I don't know why I don't make more. I think it just takes a while to make them. So uh, these are my axolotls. 
I sell them for 15 out of the Sweet Snuggles White. I have two in pink, one in yellow. And this is pretty much typically what I take to every market and, and they're gone, like instantly. Um, I did start two of each color of the rainbow, uh, but this is what I got finished. So I'm taking those to market tomorrow. And then these have not been selling either, um, but I've made them, so I'm gonna keep taking them. These are my larger Octos. Um, they are made out of the Sweet Snuggles Light, and they come in these pastel colors. Uh, I've got four of those. So I've got, um, I got them in all the bright rainbow colors. Um, and I've got 21 of these and I'm selling these for $6. The big octos are 20. So those are my sea creatures. Okay, next I'm going to go through my keychains. I have two of these little palms uh, that I sell for $4 and I just, these are the ones that I would put on top of a hat. Um, and I've kind of taken them to markets. They don't really sell, but I bring them anyway because they're already done. Then I've got these three mushrooms. Um, these typically go pretty well. They're pretty cute. And all my keychains, besides the palms, are $6. Now, this is the first time that I've raised the price from $5. So I don't think $6 is asking too much for keychains considering some people sell them for 10 to 15. So we will see how it goes in my area. Hopefully it goes okay. Um, two lonely octos. Now I do have two more made. I just need to sew them together and attach it. So hopefully that gets done before tomorrow. And then I've got four of these little piggies. And they're just the acrylic size of the plush ones that I make. Got, oh, it's like I thought I had more of these. Got five of these ice cream cones. And it is June, so hopefully people are craving ice cream. I've got two kiwi slices and a watermelon slice. So all together for um, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 keychains. All right, so next up I've got these burst scrunchies and I made them in a white, pink, husky, brown, and a navy. And I've got this on the stand, and then I've got a basket, and then I have another basket. Now this is June. I don't know how well these um, fur scrunchies are gonna sell in June, um, but I do have 77 of those. And I'm selling those $5 or two for eight. Then I also have these leftover from my um, winter markets last year. They are cotton fingerless gloves. And um, I think these still sell year round because they're not super warm, but typically I sell them in black and more taupey tan colors. And so these are kind of left over. I've got a mauve and a dark mauve, and I sell these for 15 a piece. Next I have my chicken tub. Um, and I call it my chicken tub because it's pretty much every part of a chicken. So I do have five of these guys. They are chickens. Um, these are made out of, well, it's made out of a discontinued yarn um, that Joann's used to have. I think they've replaced it with the big twist plush. But I loved this yarn because I could find it pretty cheap and I bought as much of it as I could. It's all lined around my room. And so hopefully I don't run out of that soon. Um, but this would be comparable to a Bernat blanket. Um, 
or a sweet snuggles light and i'm going to sell the chickens and the chickens are making their debut at this market and those will be 15. now what comes out of the chicken you got the fried egg um, this is made out of the just chenille yarn and i put these on a plate and i'm selling those for 12. they're not a huge seller for me but these are my little nuggets um, you may have seen these before if you've watched some of my videos it does come out of the fry container the fry box um, I just searched fry box on Amazon and they're pre-made I used to make my own fry boxes but those took forever to make and the glue didn't always hold and so now these um, they're pretty cheap and they're done so I don't have to waste any time making the boxes um, if they break then it's fine so that is my chicken container and I've got five chickens I've got mm, 10 eggs and 13 nuggets next I've got my showstopper piece um, this is Roxy and her rainbow tail and Roxy typically she is white so I don't want everybody touching her so typically I will put her on top of a box and kind of hopefully draw in customers so she's my my big showstopper she did take me 33 hours to complete and she's got a little little glitter um, if you can see that her corn glitters uh, and her hair. Her hair is the, the glitter uh, burnout blanket yarn. And she does bring in a lot of conversation. Um, nobody's bought her yet, but that was not my purpose of making her. And I do have a price tag on her for 250. So, and maybe one day she'll go, but right now she's kind of my sales buddy. Next, I have these three snakes, and snakes are kind of hit and miss at markets. Sometimes they're like, ooh, I want the snake, and then other times they don't even say anything about them. Um, these are made out of the Sweet Snuggles Light, and I sell these for $15, and I have three of them. Then next, I've got this Chonky Mushroom. I made it in a big size and a smaller size. This is made out of the Sweet Snuggles and this is made out of the Sweet Snuggles White. The big mushroom is $20 and I sell the small one for 12. Typically I sell out of these. Um, they're just, they're super cute. And um, what I said, I have one of these and I've got eight of, oh no, 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 no. when when cats attack okay one second all right i just had a cat try and jump the barrier that i have set up in my office and of course he made it so as i was saying eight of these one of these uh together i've got nine of these uh the next item i thought was going to sell way better than it actually does are these cute little gummy bears um I I had them in every color and I made another one in pink. The yellow one just has never sold. And I just, I thought they would sell better. I sell them for $20. Uh, they don't have any safety eyes or any issues like that. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I need to display them better. But I have two of these. And then these are the bigger size of the keychain that I showed you. They are my little pigs, and um, I did a video on how many of these I could make in a day. So I do have a lot of these that I am taking. I am taking 15 of these, and I sell these for $10 a piece. These are pretty. These are a pretty good um, seller, and because they're small, they're easy to make, and people like pigs. And I live in Kansas, and some people 
raised pigs. Uh, which brings me to my next one. This is, um, I just did a cow and I'm super excited about this cow. He's super cute. I love him. He's just like squishy and I just want to hug him all the time. Um, and this one I made yesterday. And so I only have one of him and I'm selling him for $20. Okay, next I've got this basket and I changed it to gold because I changed my colors to gold and wood and white at my table. But I've got two of these strawberries. Um, it's made out of the Home Neal Slim from Michaels. And I've, I have nine other of these started. Uh, it just, I don't know what I, I don't like sewing on the seeds. And so if I'm in the mood to sew, then it's fine, but I'm just, I haven't been in the mood to sew. So I have two of these. Hopefully I'll have a couple more before tomorrow's market, just so I can fill the basket. Um, but right now two is fine. Okay. And then while we're on the subject of plants, I've got these cacti. They come in these little terracotta pots and the dirt comes out or back in. You don't have to water them. Um, I sell these for $10 each. And uh, typically this is a good conversation piece and they do sell pretty well. Um, oh, I didn't mention my strawberries. I sell them for 12. Okay, and then I have one snail. Um, the snail priced at 15. It might be 12, might be 15. I actually made a price tag for him. Um, there's just a lot of sewing that went involved. So those are priced a little bit higher. And then I've got my Triceratops in all the colors made out of the Sweet Snuggles Light. <laughs> and um, I sell these for $10. This will be the first market that I've tried to sell these. Um, they're super cute though, I think. So I've got, I've got eight of these. So we will see how they sell. And I will let you know in the market vlog. Okay, then I've got my oh so popular Leggy Froggies. Um, in all the colors and I make these out of the the home not home the sweet snuggles light um, and they can cross their legs and their arms and I have 16 of these okay so that is everything that I have crocheted but I do sell a couple of things that are not crochet, they're sewn. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those anyway, cause I am taking them to the market. So the first thing I'm gonna show you that I have sewn are these cute little key fobs. My husband uses this one, uh, it's stamps and he's a history teacher and kind of looks history-ish. Um, and I use this um, flowery one. Um, but I sell these for $6 a piece and I have 28 of these. And typically I'll sell a few at each market. Um, this is what I started with when I started doing shows was sewing. So I have these left over and just kind of trying to keep selling them. And then the other thing that I sew are these kind of twist headbands. And I sell them on a um, piece of cardstock and they're made out of a knit material and so you would just wear them in your hair um, and I sell these for I sell them for six dollars or two for ten so typically people will buy two of these and I've got them in all different patterns this one is like um, spider webs uh, this one's a good seller. At least it was. I don't know if cheetah print is still in or not. But I've got 
I've got 25 of these that I'm taking. Um, I've got 25 started. They're just kind of in a pile, just sitting there. I can see them. They're just staring at me saying, finish me, finish me, take me to the market. So I might have 50 of these if I get those done. And they're in cuter prints. They've got a lot more springy, summery prints and a lot more kid-friendly prints uh, in that pile that I need to complete. Okay, so that is everything that I am taking to the market. And that brings me to a total of 287 items. So if you wanna know how well I did at the market tomorrow, please keep watching my channel. Uh, if you liked this type of video, make sure that you hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Um, I am so close to a thousand subscribers. If you could do me a solid and just hit that subscribe button, that would be fantastic. And that means that you get to see the rest of my, uh, my videos because you do not want to miss the fall ones coming up because fall is crazy ridiculous on how much prep goes into it, how much I sell, how much just the hustle and bustle of the fall season. So please stay tuned and I'll see you next time.